How about we print my cyberpunk character? Cyberpunk is a game with fun gameplay, cool story, great characters, and some bugs. Why am I telling you this? You know about this game. People have been complaining about this game for a while now. Despite the bugs, it's got good storytelling. So if you want a piece of this game to stay with you forever, you know, something to remember, you could just go on Amazon to buy an action figure. There's lots of figures available everywhere, but in the game you make your character your own. My V is unique, he's also very stylish. I could always flex my blender skills, just show off by making V from scratch. I could totally do that, and it would look great, the best. But maybe we should do something different, something special, something called photogrammetry? photogrammetry. Photogrammetry. <clears throat> it's called photogrammetry. Basically, you take a bunch of photos of something, and software then creates a 3D model for you, like this sculpture from a wiki article. But that's a real life thing. What about a video game? Oh, I think we'll manage just fine. The built in photo mode allows you to orbit the camera around the character, and I can record my screen while in game from all sorts of angles. This should work. Using only my amazing coding skills, I extracted all the individual frames from the videos. Software does all the magic of aligning photos for you. But be prepared to pour yourself some coffee, maybe grab a beer, maybe coffee with whiskey, maybe just the whiskey. What I'm saying is that this takes a while. I don't have the best CPU in the world, but it's not exactly slow. Like I said, this is like magic. You can already start to make out the model, and it's only the first step of the process. Well, that looks terrible. Maybe try better quality. And this was already done with 800 photos, so it takes forever. With fewer photos and higher quality, it looks like a slightly better pile of dirt. It still looks like a screenshot from PS4, but it's still an improvement. So let's take it up a notch, increase the quality, and fry my computer. Wait, that's illegal. That actually looks pretty good. That's actually usable. I certainly didn't expect it to look this good. It's still very rough in minor details, and it looks like the overlaid texture actually hides quite a lot of imperfections. But hey, I'll take it. So just removing the scene around the object to take a better look. Whoa, nice. The texture is weird, but hopefully we can smooth it out. Let's see how it prints as is. So just a test print, printed with very few supports. And yeah, there's issues. Especially legs look like cybernetics gone wrong. For what it is, with no cleanup, decent first print. Let's try to rescue the model with a lot of filler. I'm losing a lot of details this way. But it's not like there's any useful details there. But at least I'll hide the scan imperfections and help me paint it later. So after some primer and silver spray paint. Yeah, maybe, maybe it looks okay from far away, no? Uh... Most of the issues aren't actually to do with the model. I printed this very fast with no support, the seam lines are in the wrong places, temperature settings weren't dialed in, and it was printed at fairly large layer height. So we can do better next time. Which means it's time to go back to my favorite blender and sculpting mode. You're gonna watch me struggle for hours trying to smooth this out. It says here in the script, these big holes are pretty hard to fill. In my defense, I rarely know what I'm doing. I try my best, and my mom says I'm talented. I was trying to make the surfaces as smooth as possible to help with the print, but it's pretty obvious I'm not a 3D modeler. It's very hard to judge which details you should keep and which ones you should smooth out for a more successful print. So back to those big holes, there's a list of things I put in the script. I was trying to put the cylinder in the hole, stuff the hole full, insert the cylinder as deep as it goes, 
All of those things mean that I was trying to use the cylinder tool and combine it with the original model. I can then use the same stupid smoothing technique to make it look like it was meant to be there. Then I printed the cleaned up version and paid a little bit more attention to the quality this time. There's still a lot of issues on the legs. I printed the model with just two walls. And I think the fairly small legs and hands were just printed too quickly. I really went overboard with the supports this time. Fuck. Looks like I'm gonna need to do more gluing than I wanted to. But I'm sure things will go much better from now on. Despite the setbacks, I'm happy. Now to paint this, and nothing can go wrong there. Oh no, the, the flashbacks, they're, they're coming to me. Ah, oh, make it stop. So, here it is, in its full glory. And it's not too bad. Probably largely because I decided not to paint the eyes this time. Again, it's passable from far away, um, except for the butchered hands. It's probably the best I could do, which is good enough for me. The main takeaway is that it's actually possible to take your game character and print it without needing any 3D modeling skills or exporting the model somehow. I'd like to redo this project again. I think first I'll need to do some actual real photogrammetry to, to see the challenges and to see what actually works best. To help me revisit this project and make it better next time. Maybe try some other games or maybe some other characters in Cyberpunk. Which is actually going to be fairly challenging. The reason it was so easy to make the model of V is that there's a photo mode and it orbits around you while the character is perfectly still. It's going to be much, much harder with other characters. Do I have anything else to say in conclusion? No. Goodbye.